what you see in front of you is a is a battery eliminator for tube radios and I'll give a little background here uh, before the 1950s and in some areas up even into the 1950s there were there were many farms in rural areas that did not have electricity so for those customers there were there were battery operated tube radios available these radios typically ran on a a large battery that actually had two batteries in, in one enclosure. You had a one and a half volt section for the tube filaments and you had a 90 volt section for the plate voltage. After electricity became common many companies produced these AC power supplies that would provide the necessary one and a half volts and 90 volts for operating these old battery operated tube radios off of AC power for the benefit of those customers that didn't want to replace their existing radio etc 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 okay I will open this up and let you see the inside of it okay here's the inside as you can see I've done some repair work to this. This uses a 5Y3 vacuum tube to uh, rectify the uh, high voltage to provide a, the 90 volts DC and a silicon rectifier for the uh, 1.5 volt supply. It's nothing fancy here. There's no kind of voltage regulation or anything. It's basically just a transformer that it steps the 120 volts AC down to the appropriate voltages required by the radio and got an appropriate rectification and filtering devices to convert the AC output of the transformer into a DC voltage that the radio wants to see. Now these these battery eliminators are sort of hard to find but fortunately they can be made out of more modern components. I've built several for various radios and I usually use a use an LM317 voltage regulator IC for the 1.5 volts and you can still buy appropriate high voltage transformers from places like Antique Electronics Supply that will that will provide the correct B plus voltage for the radio or if you don't want to order a transformer you can buy a couple of low voltage filament style transformers from Radio Shack and wire them back to back and you can do the same thing that way I've got another one of these battery eliminators somewhere but I can't can't put my hands on it right now. I think that one's a, a perma power, and I believe it's a little newer than this one. That one is solid state throughout. There's no tube inside of it. But I like to keep a few of these on hand, plus some of the ones that I've made to in order to power some of these old battery tube radios that I find. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, and shortly I will make a video of this of this battery eliminator in action powering an old tube radio.